Welcome to Podcast Pathways for Disability Advocacy Services. I'm your host, John. Today's episode, it's episode 6 in season 16, and today's episode is The Art of Storytelling. Storytelling is the quintessential human skill. It's what creates human cultures, it gives meaning to those cultures, and ties us together in shared experience. The human storyteller is as old as humanity. Each culture has its own epic slash saga, passed orally until the coming of the written word. Podcasting is a variation of the travelling bard, the wandering minstrel, the keepers of the knowledge. The similarities podcasting has with the past is its direct connection to the listeners. One voice talking to many. We no longer need to sit around campfires or in the great hall of the local magnate, or even the great halls of the people, to participate in the most ancient of human activities. The technology is where we differ from the pre-Homeric in the Greek tradition, as one example. With a podcast, we can talk to everyone, all at once, and simultaneously, one at a time. The Impact of Storytelling and Disability Advocacy Storytelling is more than just a way to share information. It means building empathy, changing perceptions, and motivating others to take action. For disability advocacy, storytelling is essential because it humanises the issue. Disabilities are often discussed in terms of stats and clinical language which can make the issue seem distant or abstract. Storytelling brings the lived experiences of people with disabilities to the forefront, making the issues more tangible and personal. It is the lived experiences of the changes your service has assisted or created that's gold for your stories. Storytelling challenges stereotypes. Stories challenge misconceptions and stereotypes about people with disabilities. Showcasing the diverse experiences of individuals, storytelling helps break down barriers and promote a more inclusive and understanding society. And storytelling inspires action. When people hear a story that resonates with them emotionally, they are more likely to be moved to take action. Whether it's advocating for policy change, supporting accessibility initiatives, or simply changing their own behaviour, stories inspire listeners to make a difference. Crafting stories that resonate. Crafting stories that connect with listeners and drive action requires careful thought and planning, key elements to consider. Authenticity is crucial in storytelling, especially in advocacy. Nothing beats the lived experience of the people who both work with you and who work for you. Share real experiences and emotions. Authentic stories resonate deeply with listeners because they are grounded in real-life experiences. Relatable individuals. Introduce individuals that your audience can relate to. These could be people with disabilities who face challenges similar to those of the audience, or people who have undergone significant personal growth as a result of their experiences. It is the change that matters. The hero-heroine who reaches a crisis in their lives, makes changes, and grow as people are the perfect sort of stories for a podcast. Remember to have an emotional arc. This sort of journey can also be considered the standard sort of hero's journey emotional arc. And every good story has an arc that takes the audience on a journey with them. This could be the journey from struggle to triumph, from misunderstanding to awareness, or from apathy to action. The the key is to focus on the initial conditions, the change, and the outcome. Your story should also have a clear message. While a story should be engaging, it should also have a clear, straightforward call to action. What do you want your listeners to take away from the story? Sometimes the stories tell themselves and the actions required by the listener are obvious. This rarely occurs. A direct call to action is so often required that that you should include one in every episode. Sometimes as simple as, please tell your friends about our show, or to donate, click on the link in the show notes. Calls to action take time to embed in your listeners' minds. Stick to the same call to action for at least five episodes. Amplifying voices through storytelling. One of the most important aspects of the storytelling discipline in disability advocacy is the amplification of voices that are often marginalised. To, in fact, give the unheard a voice. How you do this is limited by your creative ability. Here are a couple of ways. Platforming voices. Use your platform to share stories from people not usually seen in the mainstream media. Give them the opportunity to speak for themselves. Any of the kin advocacy episodes in Disability Sunflower Stories are great examples. 
There's a link in the show notes. This can be done through interviews, guest appearances or social media takeovers. By amplifying these voices, you help to create a more inclusive narrative that reflects a wider range of experiences. Diverse representation. Ensure that your storytelling includes a diverse range of voices and experiences. Disability is not a monolith and people with disabilities have varied and intersectional identities. Even within a given diagnosis, experiences vary enormously. Focus on the people and let them tell their stories. Driving action through storytelling. The ultimate goal of your episode is to inspire action. Here's how you can use your stories to motivate listeners to make a difference. Highlight the impact. Show your audience how their actions can make a difference. Whether it's through supporting a specific campaign, donating to a cause or advocating for policy changes, make it clear how they can contribute to the solution. The changes your service allows individuals to achieve as discussed as part of the storytelling process is the emotional lever. The changes your service enables individuals to achieve as discussed as part of the storytelling process is the emotional lever to drive actions in listeners. Provide clear calls to action. As I said before, every story should end with a clear call to action. This is critical and needs to be consistent over time. Maybe one CTA for each episode in a season of 8 to 10, and then a different call to action for the next season and so on. The more specific and actionable your request, the more likely people are to follow through. Don't forget to follow up. Keep your audience engaged by providing updates on the impact of their actions. For example, if you've asked them to support a campaign, let them know the outcome and how their contribution made a difference. This reinforces the connection between the story and the action and encourages ongoing involvement. Storytelling is the art to transform your advocacy outcomes by connecting with listeners on an emotional level and driving meaningful action. By crafting emotionally resonant episodes, you connect your listeners to your service making them true fans of your work. If you're thinking about or even ready to start your services podcast, email me, john at jmps.au, link in the show notes, and we can have a chat. I work on a monthly retainer basis and you receive four episodes a month, uploaded to a host, clips for use in social, help with local recordings where you are, and all this for 500 Australian dollars a month on a 12-month contract. Until next episode, thanks for listening. This has been a JM Podcasting Services production. Link in the show notes.